Hi and welcome to this video. Today we're going to look at some tips and tricks that will help us to quickly identify any chiral carbons in a compound. First, let's briefly review what a chiral carbon is. It's one that has four different groups attached, not different atoms, different groups. So for example, if we want to check to see if this carbon is chiral, we just need to identify or circle the four groups. Notice that the only part that is not circled is the carbon of interest in the middle. The four groups are an isopropyl, a methyl, an H, and a different carbon chain. So they are four different groups, which means that this carbon is indeed chiral and we can mark it with an asterisk. Note that this carbon, for example, is not chiral since it has two groups, two methyl groups, that are the same. Now let's look at how to identify the four groups for a carbon that is part of a ring, such as this one here. We've got one group here, we've got another one here. For the ring itself, we're going to divide it in half starting from the carbon of interest, and we can circle each half of the ring. So we can see here that each half of the ring is the same, so this is not a chiral carbon. However, if I now add a methyl group here, then the highlighted carbon will be chiral. Now you could check each carbon in the compound to see if it's chiral using this method, but that would take a long time, especially if you have a large molecule. So let's look at some tips and tricks for narrowing down what carbons we should ignore and which ones we should look at in order to identify any and all chiral carbons in a compound. Let's use this molecule as an example. The first thing I want to do is to cross out or ignore any carbons that are for sure not chiral. This includes carbons that are part of a double or triple bond. This is because a chiral carbon needs four single bonds in order to be attached to four different groups. Other types of carbon that are for sure not chiral are those with two or more hydrogens. So CH3 and CH2. The maximum number of hydrogens allowed for a chiral carbon is one, which means that a chiral carbon should have at least three bonds drawn in. So using those tricks has narrowed things down quite a bit. For the remaining carbons, we just have to check whether or not they are attached to four different groups. So we've got a carbon on the left here, which has two benzene rings the same, so not chiral. We've got this carbon, Split the ring in half, each side of the ring is the same, so not chiral. This carbon here, which is chiral, you've got the whole piece on the left, the whole piece on the right, the OH and also an H that's not drawn in. And then finally we have this carbon, not chiral, it has two methyl groups the same. So the only carbon here that's chiral is this one here. If you found this video helpful, please give a thumbs up and thanks for watching.